Hi everyone and welcome. This week's video I have a rough turned Texas mesquite bowl that was sent to me by Johnny in Texas. Um, never turned mesquite before so I was looking forward to uh, doing the final turning on this one. And Happy New Year everyone. I hope you're having a first, uh, good first couple days of the new year. I know I'm looking forward to 2021. I'd love to hear what you, you guys uh, are looking forward in the new year down in the comments. So as I mentioned, this was uh, a rough turned bowl that was given to me. And I am doing the final turning. And having never worked with Texas mesquite or any mesquite really, I was really taking my time to make sure I didn't mess it up and ruin it. Um, it was it was dry as you saw me uh, take the moisture content. It was, it was around seven percent, so it was perfect for turning. Now, I don't know if all Texas mesquite is like this, but um, this just was a gorgeous, gorgeous grained bowl. Thank you, Johnny, by the way. As far as rough turned bowls go, this was a, a amazingly well turned. Uh, it was a little bit out of balance, I'm sure, from losing moisture, but it was not anywhere near some of the rough turned bolts that I've turned. And this was a larger bowl. This is about uh, 13 inches in diameter. And about uh, four to five inches tall. I actually haven't measured, measured the height yet. Um, I think it's, it's probably right around four and a half. So as you can see, it's it's very dusty. Um, I had two air filters going plus a, a respirator on, so I was well protected. I was reading a post on Facebook today about the um, uh, the more expensive respirators, the 3M Versa Flow versus the Trend Air Shield. If you guys have either one. Um, uh, let me know down in the comments if you like it. Um, I know there are some very expensive pappers for like, you know, twelve, fifteen hundred dollars, uh, which is not what I'm looking for. But um, the Air Trend Pro versus the 3M Versaflow. Let me know what you think. So here, just trying to work on the uh, bottom of the bowl getting it uh, in balance. It was still slightly out of balance here. You'll notice in a second when I turn off the lathe here in a sec. Um, see, it's still out of balance because as I was turning it, it was um, cutting in places and not in other places. Uh, here I start sanding with 80 grit with some power sanding. And some more 80 grit with some hand sanding. So watch this green pop here with the denatured alcohol. Isn't that beautiful? And there's so much beauty in nature. Yeah, just shy of 13 inches in diameter. I chose to keep the shape of the bowl pretty simple uh, because the bowl and the green um, 
I was pretty sure it was going to speak for itself, and I was right. Using a tack cloth here to remove any dust before applying finish. Hey, if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell notification. I put out a video every week. And if you hit the bell icon, you'll be notified when I do. And the first or one of the first to uh, view it and not miss anything. Uh, using some Mahoney's Walnut Oil to finish it. All of the products that I use I will link in the video description if you're interested in trying them. Some are affiliate links and some are not. Affiliate links just mean that uh, I get a commission, very, very small commission, um, but it does help support the channel. So thank you. After the walnut oil dried overnight, I am putting uh, one coat of Axe Polishing Paste on it to shine it up a little bit. If you haven't tried Axe, I do have a coupon code available for viewers. If you go to axewoodpaste.com, you'll get 10% off your order when you use code PF10. So thank you to Axe. So don't go anywhere yet. We still have to reverse it and take off the tenon. And you can watch along with me uh, and you can tell how nervous I am. Uh, I do not have a vacuum chuck or anything like that. So I was reverse mounting it in a larger chuck with um, some grippy, um, uh, whatchamacallit, that's what I'm going to call it, a whatchamacallit, um, to hold it steady. And everything turned out fine, and it was pretty in balance, uh, so that was good. But as you can tell here, even though this is sped up, um, I was pretty nervous about it coming off, so went really slow, taking off just a little bit at a time. And as you can see, that that's about a um, quarter-inch tenon there, so I had a little bit to take off. Anyone have a, a vacuum chuck out there and are they worth it if you do a lot of bowls? I'd love to hear your comments on that. Seems like in wood turning or probably woodwork in general that uh, there's always another tool that you need. Aside from clamps, that is. There's more tools that you, you think you have what you need and then you need something if different. Need and want maybe two different things here though, because obviously I'm accomplishing this without a vacuum chuck. Other times though, I may not be so lucky. Use the bowl gouge and the skew chisel to, to turn off the, the tenon. And again, this looks like I'm going pretty fast, but it's uh, sped up by four times. Taking off um, the little nub there with the saw. And then I'm going to show you some photos here at the end. Just look at that grain. I mean, it was hard to really capture the beauty of it on camera. I mean, I'm not the best photographer, but look at that yellow with the brown just so beautiful anyway thank you very much guys uh be sure to tune in next week where i have a um, a different project coming up um so be sure to stay tuned for that don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps support the channel until next week peace out